On this episode of NSFW, we're joined by fantastic magician David Rowan. What are we going to do with him? Oh, I'll tell you. We're going to compliment Bob again. You might remember the one time that we took a random newspaper article and dropped so many compliments on him they didn't know what hit him. It's happening yet again. It all goes down right now on this episode of NSFW. Netcasts you love from people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for NSFW is brought to you by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is NSFW episode 130, recorded on June 5th, 2012. Compliment Bomb 2. This episode of NSFW is brought to you by Squarespace.com, a fast and easy way to create a high-quality website or blog. For a free trial and 10% off your first purchase on new accounts, go to Squarespace.com and use offer code NSFW6. And now, they offer free domain registration with an annual plan subscription. Do you have to look amazing all the time? You know, it cracks me up, that thing when they do stars without makeup, and I think, are we now supposed to have makeup on every... <laughs> <laughs> the best part of this is the hand moves before the, the face. Of our lives, you know, it's like... Yes, you owe somehow. it to the public. <laughs> <laughs> yes! It is go time! For NSFW, the new show full of wind, the new sauce for the weather, that's the show that is nominally safe for worth. For worth. It's nominally safe for your worth. And joined by our your new net worth. robot that we're going to be offering financial advice on this episode of NSFW. <laughs> Buy and sell tips. Absolutely. That's what we're doing now. Oh, we're done sh- with comedy. Show me your tips, Justin Robert Young. How you doing? Oh, good lord! Uh, I'm I'm fantastic. I'm now since the last time I was on the show, I uh, moved across the the country of America. Yeah, no, and 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 to be honest, uh, I wasn't actually talking to you. I was talking to Unit Three Seventy Two in the back. You could see him off to the to the to the very back over there. But but that's fine. You can answer for him. I'm sorry. You moved to you moved to the San Francisco Bay Area, Cl- Clab Craw Man. <laughs> yes. Uh, no, I moved to uh, to Oakland. I'm now working with the Go Game. So if everybody wanted to really make me seem like a, a valuable employee to the company and at reply to the Go Game and say thanks for hiring Justin, no, that'd that's be pretty gonna fun, happen. dude. This is it. Let's set fire to the internet and starting mission the first. Everyone at the Go Game and say I want to hear. I want to hear. You lucky rascals. You don't even know what you stepped into. And then I want I want also like thank you very much for showing pity on Justin R Young on Twitter. I also want to hear beware the beard and then like just mysterious tweets like vaguely threatening. <laughs> like they don't say why. <laughs> vaguely threatening. <laughs> I'm just spitballing ideas. I mean, I go like, like, beware the shadow beyond the library, <laughs> for there might lie mystery. <laughs> hey, man, we actually but, we we had a guest, but but now we got we another guest. Okay, so um, the 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 new guest that you know used to be we used to joke about because we booked Kevin Smith and Kevin Smith never came on the show. <laughs> we now kind of have like a new. Guess once it was our fault because we had uh, twit programming. We got preempted for. Uh, he he obviously has a gigantic time difference. But uh, this time, nobody knows what happened to Will Harris. I'm going to suspect that uh, he got a little too sauced on on Lager uh, during the Queen's Jubilee. He had a, he was a bit too jubilant during well, the, the know, Queen's and, Jubilee. In his defense, that's what the Queen wanted. She looked him right in the eye and said, "Jubal, go." Let's start jubiling. And he jubiled to, to the max. Do you think that's how she talks? She's like, she's <laughs> well, like nobody's like, looking. Hello, please approach the queen. <laughs> Jubal. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm sorry, your highness. What, what, what did you just say? I said you better jubile it. 
Jubilant or I'll take it out of your heart. I, I, I don't know what jubiling, how does one jubil? What is that even? If you don't jubil right now, I'll show you what a jubil is. All right. She's just a like, gutter snipe. Get snipe. away now. You smell like old socks. <laughs> she leads over. She's like, anyway, I'm the queen. Oh, I just learned if I want to know I'm old and my jubilee is today. <laughs> All right, here's the important thing. is Since we didn't have we didn't have Will Harris, but I, I concocted a plan. You know, today was the Venus transit. <laughs> we didn't have, it was, sorry, that whole setup was Will Harris is another show. I just <laughs> want to let everybody know. Will Harris is going to be on the show. He is it's another show. We'll have Will Harris on at some other point, and I'll do my impression of the Queen, and he'll uh, confirm or deny its accuracy. All right. So, but the important thing is today was the Venus transit, and so I had to find us a guest. So I prayed to the the corpse of the planet Venus and to the civilizations that were burned to a crisp there, and I said, "Send them did to you, us." Did you, did you play the song "I'm Your Venus"? Yes. Well, actually, uh, I was doing that with hand farts. I was all like. <laughs> <laughs> like that. That's how I was doing it. God, I was so hoping that you would have like be like I I've been waiting my entire life for this setup because I get hand part. I'm your Venus. I'm your fire. Your desire. Instead, I totally took a real fart. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> but here's no, what... that's it because you learn the hand fart because you used to real fart. And then, like, in true athletic movie fashion, you had a horrible situation where you accidentally pooped. It was, it was, it was, a, I, I was in the, it was a sports injury where I lost the ability to tighten my sphincter appropriately. And so that's like, it's like, oh, uh, he used to be the best fart songer in the nation. And then somebody comes up to you because, like, someone needs a really good fart songer. And by the way, that's like what? a thing I just made up. So you're a fart no, songer, right? I know, I, that's actually I mean, the name of the movie, Fart Songer. The Brian Brushwood story. <laughs> and so I'm sitting there, I'm, I'm pushing a broom. I'm like, I mean, he's like, we need you to fart song. I'm like, don't do that no more. <laughs> <laughs> you're looking for the wrong guy. I ain't. You're looking for it. You're like, that man don't exist no more. He prayed to Venus and hand farted himself into an injury. <laughs> I dropped a crab patty on the floor while I was in the middle of I'm Your Venus. And that was the last fart song that I ever did. <laughs> okay. Sweep, sweep, sweep. <laughs> But in all seriousness, uh, I, I did pray to Venus, I'll have you know. And they sent, I said, please bestow to us a <laughs> hey, guest. You got the scent, all right. <laughs> please bestow a guest to us. Send us a space preacher who will join us for the show. And we got none other than David. David? David? Hey, David, we're David? doing a show. David? <laughs> What's Wow, well, man. That, that kind of looks like, that doesn't look like David wrong. That looks like a, a song legend uh, Beck. <laughs> Troubadour, See, that's, 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 who, that's who Venus sent. In, in their stead, they sent us tr the true form of their overlord, Beck. Uh, all right, so here, here's the thing. Uh, first of all, if you don't know, David Rowan is one of my favorite all-time magicians from here in Austin. You're in town, what? You had, a, you had an underground bar fight you had to get into? Uh, yeah, basically. <laughs> the, the, the version of that. And, uh, yeah, I'm just passing through, being New York City on the weekend. And so the uh, it, when we started here, the original plan was you were just going to kind of hang out and be our one person studio audience, and occasionally, whenever you know, we would just ask you for advice, and you would tell us how we're doing or whatever. But instead, you're the guest, so I need you to get real interesting, real fast. Okay. So I need some and go <laughs> <laughs> and cue the awesome, and we are go for awesome. And you told me you just give me fifty bucks for running the telescope. That's right. <laughs> We did, man. I'm, now I'm here. We took. Uh, did you, Did you see any of? Uh, did you watch the Venus? Did you look at, at my Venus? I whipped it out. I didn't see your Venus. I mean, you've been trying to show me your Venus for months, and uh, I, I've not uh, partaken. No, I, I haven't seen it. I know it's like a big, uh, a big thing. I was driving out here. I had a little business stuff, and then it's like an hour drive from uh, the the San Francisco area to to Chicken City here. Up in Petaluma. I mean, it's in the sky. It's it's like universally. <laughs> you have to actually take a space elevator. It's called a baby space. It's a baby it's space called, elevator. It's, it's the sun, bro. You just got to look up and be like, oh, it's, there's Venus. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, Venus. Oh, yeah, no. But, I mean, then you're looking in the sun. Isn't that bad? Shouldn't you not look directly in the sun? Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm wearing a mustache. How yeah. bad can it be? <laughs> 
Are you really going to come into my house? Be like, oh, I'm a mustache man. Look at that. <laughs> like a badass. It's like you turn around. I cut away to you. And when I cut back, I'm suddenly dressed as a lumberjack. I'm like, I'm sorry, bro. What would you say? <laughs> I got, I got, I got like, an oh. axe. And then I'm dressed as a lumberjack with a chainsaw. And then it cuts back to you. And you're dressed as a wizard. But, but I'm having <laughs> I'm sex dressed. with your mom. <laughs> Sorry, I was, mean, was she would probably do it for the bit. <laughs> yeah. uh, all right. So anyway, we, we're hanging with David Rowan, and we had a loose idea of stuff that we wanted to do today. Yeah. Well, here's the deal. So um, I got, and, and I think we were both on this on, on Twitter, but somebody wrote a very, like, a, okay, let me preface this with, with this one thought. NSFW was worthless. It's like a worthless show. Like, it's Thank you very much. Brian. Good night. We it's hope you enjoy. <laughs> that has to be the it's, whole It's really nonsense. It's me and Brian and, and a, 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 a rotating guest chair of, of really awesome people that we just basically just make laughs, right? And we're just doing nothing. But this, this person wrote a really, really nice uh, blog post about how much they were, they, they thought the compliment bomb that we had done over a year ago, a year and a half are, are you, ago. Are you about to go meta on this? Are we about to go full circle? No, 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 no. I don't think we should come about that article. I think we should do another compliment. About I'm, sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What were the words you just spoke? What was that last? What was that last sentence you spoke aloud just now? I think we should compliment bomb another article. Oh, I swear to God, I thought you said no. I don't think we should come on that article. <laughs> You want to get some giggles out? You want to get your yayas out, Brian? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Am I not supposed to laugh at this show? Go ahead. Take, go ahead. Take, take it away, Maybe professor. we should come on your article. <laughs> you ever thought about that? Go on. Ever, maybe like that was like an argument when they were putting together the Constitution. <laughs> like, we will Franklin. not come on these articles. <laughs> and like Thomas Jefferson's like, well, duh. Was anybody thinking about... Wait, was that a thing? <laughs> we were talking about coming on the article? And meanwhile, they turn around and Benjamin Franklin's like having a threesome and they're like, God damn, Ben, come on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what This is, one calls itself a Polynesian. <laughs> <laughs> ben Franklin. All right, go on. For that reason, Ben Franklin is Rodney Dangerfield in my mind at all times. What do you know? I flew. I flew a key, and uh, there's some electricity. <laughs> respect. No respect at all. But it's ben like Franklin. Actually, that makes sense because like he had articles about why it's better to bang old ladies oh, yeah. instead of young ladies. He's part of some society. And like his answer was like, "You ain't looking at her face while you're doing it." Yeah. Like that's that's not word for word, but that was the gist of it. It's just like <laughs> bent over. That was actually what Benjamin Franklin uh, drove a horse and buggy with a bumper. He invented bumper stickers and the bumper stickers said, you ain't looking at her face when you're doing it. <laughs> and it's like, and it's like another corollary was like bent over. Ain't no wrinkles. And it's like, <laughs> but then he quoted himself. Like it said, Ben Franklin at the bottom. <laughs> All right. So here's the deal. I want to compliment bomb another article because what we did last time and we tried another compliment bomb after the whole Blackwater thing uh, but we we never really succeeded so what I want to do is I put it out on Twitter when I was on the way up here and uh, if, if, if let's like make it part of the hunt here we need to find a I've got I've got the first article. one I've got well it's not an article it's a YouTube video that I want to blow up with, with joy did you did you see it I just tweeted it what is this no, uh, Twitter this, twi this Twitter. <laughs> Listen, space preacher. I know this is all strange to you here on planet Earth. I don't know how you run your ship over in Venus, <laughs> but on Earth we got something called Twitter. All right. All right. Uh, well, the only thing about, like, the thing about the common bomb on a newspaper article is that these people are not used to seeing see, a comment. Did, did. When they get a comment, they're excited. When they get forty-seven, it'll be amazing. Like yes. YouTube videos have routinely thousands of comments. Right. Okay, but. But this is a really good YouTube video. Did you did you see it? It has 89 views and it's over a month old, and my heart melted with adoration for it. This Hulk versus Thor. Did you see this? No. All right. Look, let me just give you a little taste. So, okay. First of all, we're at 89 views, and I just tweeted it, and then we'll see where we are in a bit. But just watch the beginning of it. All right. This is uh this is some bootleg footage from from the Avengers. A lot of people miss this.
we just waiting for the hammer. The chat room's betraying me. They're like, way to go, Brian. Be more of a dad. Anyway, the whole thing is pure this unadulterated. It's a pretty dad video, though. Oh, Brian. of course like, it is. But it's, it's, it's effing adorable. And the fact that he's got his girls playing the two very male leads, uh, it's it's adorable and sweet. And you need to. Because you made me angry. You always got angry. <laughs> All right, that's that's enough. Uh, but 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 I want to blow this thing up with joy, pure joy, shot right in that dad's face, like a shotgun of internet happiness. Okay, well, I mean, you did that with your Twitter. Yeah. I mean, that's going to get a bunch of attention. Everyone's going to watch it, and then people will like it. All right. Well, then what, what say you? How shall you propose that we leverage the, the Joy Media Mafia? I, I, I'm looking uh, for, for stuff right now. I think we've got, we've got one thing with, with, uh, with, with Facebook comments, but, like, I think we need something with its own comment system Holy that just shows up immediately. That was one thing that was amazing about... The, uh, the, the Lehigh, uh, the Express Times, rather, the Lehigh Valley, the Lehigh Valley's authority on news, uh, was that it, it was just, a, co- it was just a, a page where comments just immediately popped up. Right, right. So, okay, but, 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 but as we found before, because we've had failed compliment bombs, where we went one, in. We had one failed compliment bomb, and that was because we accidentally picked one that did have a uh, authorization process. And once they start to see mm. similar yet not exact, compliment, compliments coming post. in one after another. They think it's spam. Yeah, sure. Because they're frightened and confused. They're like the, uh, the caveman lawyer. All right, now listen, listen. I don't normally propose perverting something as perfect and wonderful as um, a compliment bomb. But what if we were to tongue-in-cheekly compliment the tech numerologist? <laughs> the, guy, the guy who looks in print. <laughs> Well, because I don't want to compliment him. I want to tell him he's an idiot. So should we do our first ever hate bomb? No, because that <laughs> like, this this beautiful person this week wrote about how we're a force for good. Brian, we were paragons of virtue that we, All right. we took an, an internet thing and we and we and it was a gun. We 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 beat our swords into plowshares, and and we did nothing but bring joy and happiness to the world. So we just need to find. Uh, one article. So, folks, here's what I want you to do. Everyone lives somewhere. That's Go true. to your <laughs> local paper. <laughs> that's, that's good. Space preacher so goes. So far, so good. That, that is true. Everyone does live somewhere. Being from Venus, Everyone I can. Go to your local paper and find out if they have a authorization <gasps> system for their comments. What about this? Do you realize that there's one poster who still is keeping stuff is keeping hope alive in the Twit game on Reddit where every single week he does the system sheet which is the top stories breaking everything down before uh, and he's he's got clever titles for everything here take a look at this let me get this loaded up here the system sheet 528603 and uh, this guy's keeping hope alive he is he is and by the way i, I ran into uh, veronica on the way in here because she was leaving recording the sword and laser video podcast. And, uh, yeah, no, I, I really, I, I, I mean, listen, I think people should support that. But like the beautiful thing about the compliment bomb is that someone's going to be shocked. Someone's going to wake up tomorrow and be like, yeah. what do you mean? Yeah. My no, no, no. It's like, thing. I got, I got love flowers right, from the internet. Like a wonderful on there. moment for them. Really. Yeah. What no, it's, it's a good point. Night? Yes. Something happened last night. Somebody, somebody sexed me, and I only have the beautiful memory of the orgasm. Get in here. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Benjamin did you Franklin. Sex, like S E X or S E X T? Like someone sexted you, and you were just like, <laughs> no, like, no, like, like, like past tense of sex. Like, like yeah. somebody snuck in, like did it to you, S-E-X-T. and you just yeah. wake up with the beautiful memory of the amazing, the amazing thing. Yeah, Thursdays. Uh, all right, so, so folks, go ahead. Go to your local newspapers. We're going to vamp here. What about this? Uh, Old people making dresses for poor people. We got here. This is the Suffolk. Suff, 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 Suffolk. Suffolk, Virginia. Suffolk. Of course. Yeah, the Suffolk Times. Locals make dresses from pillowcases for needy girls around the world. That's good. I was hoping it was nerdy girls around so the world. So they have a disgust nice. system. <laughs> what is this? 
But here's the deal. If you want us to do it, you need to at least have one comment Here, that is like a Diamond Club kind of right, comment. But okay. here's the problem, though, is this is genuine, good, and important charity. And I'd hate to do a compliment bomb on this that would... that would Why? Maybe, well, because, because it would look patronizing and it would look disingenuous, right? Whereas, like, the Doobie Brothers concert was perfect because... It was disingenuous that we're in love with this this trite article about the Doobie Brothers concert. And we okay, no no, we, but we weren't okay. Here's how I see it, and this might be different. So maybe we can we can have a meeting of the minds here. We can come to a consensus. I view the compliment bomb as like, all right, maybe we are not as in love as our words say. But what we want to do is not express our feelings. It's make somebody feel better. Yeah, We're yeah. telling a girl yeah, but, okay, who's but, maybe got but, a bad haircut. Here's the, here's the like, flaw in your plan. Here's the flaw in your plan is we want to surprise them. We want to surprise them in the morning when they're like, wow, I never expected a bunch of positive comments about this. If this whole article is about how they're make, making dresses for the needy, what about that says they're going to be surprised in the morning when they see a compliment for their hard work? There's going to be no surprise. So it's got to no, be yes, something. No, yes, because there's zero. I guarantee you tomorrow if we do nothing, there will be zero comments. I'm not saying this is the article we should do. I'm saying any article that we are looking at right now, tomorrow, guaranteed, there will be zero comments on all these articles tomorrow. Always. Unless we intervene and we just drop nothing but, like, airdrop fun and love. Boom. Right in their face. <laughs> okay, but again, uh, well, all right. I mean, if you want to pick this one, then, I mean, I guess... No, 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 no. I don't, because that is a disgusting. And again... If you guys want us to, if you want to be the person who brings us the compliment bomb, the proving ground is leave a comment that is approved. That's did, there. Did, did you just say that that article was disgusting? I, you no, just no, spent no, all this no, time no. telling Discuss. me to do it. Discuss is the system they use. D I S Q U S is the system oh, yeah, they yeah, use yeah. to uh, approve to moderate comments. Got it. Is what we use on the websites. Got it. On iTrix and weird things. All right. Uh, how about this article? about the te the 10 the top 10 worst pop songs about Africa and Africans and it's all hating on Mandinka is that and Shakira Waka Waka song on there yeah Africa must be free by 1983 scatterlings of a Africa uh walk like an egyptian so we toe under african side the lion sleeps tonight africa by toto how can you list africa what? by toto among the worst it's going to take a lot to drag me away from you <laughs> <laughs> is this discuss as well no i don't think so i actually just tried to put a comment in but it's still rolling and rocking i think we might have uh, crashed in server already. <laughs> oh really <laughs> we wield a little bit more joy power than we thought that could be a problem. Oh, hey, do you have our sponsors and everything laid out? How many sponsors do we have this evening? We only have uh, Squarespace. Uh, Squarespace. Well, you, why don't we take a moment and talk about Squarespace? Squ 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 oh, Squ I'm interested in Squarespace. I'm not just saying this because you're your sponsor. Like, I'd like to hear more about Squarespace. Wait, you really don't know about Squarespace? I've heard that it's it makes some, like making a website easier. Is that what, what, it is? What, what are you, a communist? This is... I mean, this is like, uh, I understand you're from Venus, but even on Venus, they've heard of Squarespace. Squarespace is the fast and easy way to make a blog portfolio or any other kind of website. You don't have to know a lick of HTML. No. Are you, what are you doing down there? <laughs> you look like Tell me more. No HTML. <laughs> are you simulating masturbation during our ad read? Because it really is. <laughs> no, he's, like, he's getting jacked. I'm he's getting this pumped. Twist top, he's like, he's uh, like flexing. Yeah. He is getting jacked. And I'll tell you what. That's why you should oh, register. Me. <laughs> that's why you should <laughs> that's register. That's the best endorsement. <laughs> <laughs> that's why you should register. No, wait, hold on. Wait, no, here. Well, well, listen, Bry. Yeah. Let, let's cut. Can, can you cut it down to just me and you, and then we'll just throw? Or we'll just switch to me and you, and then we'll just throw to Dave. All right. And, and but, Dave, whenever we throw to you, you just give the celebrity <laughs> okay. endorsement. But okay? before we do, by the time this ad's over, I want to see gettingjacked.squarespace.com. And I want it safe for work. Justin, tell me about Squarespace. <laughs> Here's the deal. Uh, okay. You can go and make another website on your own. You yeah, but you'd be a sucker. You can be an idiot. You can be a rube walking down the midway with chalk on your back, getting your money taken by a bunch of carny folks on the internet. 
But you don't want to do that. You want to be a smart guy. Yeah, you want to be somebody who knows all the angles. Someone who has a Squarespace website. It looks great. It feels great. Did you say Squarespace? You... I'll tell you what. <laughs> Squarespace recently reduced its prices. It's as low as $8 a month. Squarespace is also offering free domain registration to all annual plan customers, and it's completely integrated within the sign-up process. Hassle-free setup and approximately a $15 value. You don't believe my word? Go ahead and take it from celebrity endorser Dave Rowan. And Squarespace is giving up the 10% off of your first purchase for new accounts. For example, this means, okay, you need an example? Well, give me an example. Give me an example, bro. Joe Smith is going to sign up for Squarespace. That means 10% off Joe Smith's first monthly plan. 10% off the first year of his annual plan. He wants to go ahead and sign an annual plan. Ba-boom! 10% off. Dave Rowan, give me a face that shows how excited you are about that deal. That's one hell of a face. That's a face that no one else can make unless they were absolutely excited and needed a towel. That's a Squarespace face is what that is. Squarespace.com. Go ahead and use the offer code NSFW6. That's NSFW number six. And that's going to get you all these special deals. Squarespace.com. The only place to build websites and get a face like Dave's. <laughs> <laughs> and he spent. Oh, my God. Hey, so we touched on everything, right? We're not going to get in trouble for that ad read. I know that uh, I know Dave touched on everything. <laughs> it's the easiest thing. You can roll the dice. Listen, you, you can... You can roll the dice physically with other websites, but only you can roll the dice metaphorically. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, hey, you know what? This is really important. Before we go complimenting some other random site, we got to take care of one of our own. Do you know that one of our own is up for an award? Who, what, where? Uh, uh, somebody's up for a thing, and we have a chance to make a dream come true. You like dreams? You like making them come true? You like Squarespace, David? I love Squarespace, David. <laughs> <laughs> it turns out that this photograph of Roger Waters at the Wall Live is up for uh, sh uh, an no, awesome... No, no. What? Up Freeze McGee, apparently, is who that picture is of. Okay. Well, this is okay. Listen, uh, just just so people who are listening to this on audio, uh, Brian is showing a fantastic photo taken by our own John Slanina here of Twit, and uh, he is up for an award. But uh, Brian said that is a picture of water, water, Roger Waters. What is it, John? Up Freeze McGee. It's Up Freeze McGee, who's uh, who's which which sounds like some like a name that I would make up if I were trying to think of a name, <laughs> no. or or if I was gonna like give a name to our our priest from Venus right now, it would be yeah. Up Freeze McGee. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Oh, look at you. Who are you? I'm Freeze McGee. Oh, oh what's hey, up? Yo. What's up? I come down on my spaceship from Venus land. I'm here to shoot my green lasers all over your face and then go back home. What's up? I'm up Freeze McGee, asshole. Oh, okay. With the language. <laughs> no, that's what, that's what, you're like, <laughs> what's up? I'm up Freeze McGee. <laughs> all right. Um, Okay, I'm just saying, Bri, hmm. right now, that Suffolk Times article, Locals Make Dresses from Pillowcases for Needy Girls Around the World, yep. no moderation. All right, if we got a winner, let's no do it. No law at all in Deadwood. Let's do it. Okay, so we, get, we got our target, but real quick, can we just say real quick, if you like this photo and you think that uh, John Slonina like, deserves to be recognized for it, it's only been viewed like 800 times. It just seems like it just seems like the right thing to do to go and uh, and express your support. Maybe you got to vote on the Facebook or the Twitters, whatever. What do you care? You're going to die alone. So you, <laughs> so you might as well. Came into this world alone. You're going to die alone. You might as well vote for Jammer B on the way out. <laughs> That's what Here's I'm saying, bro. <laughs> so, so, like the so 
Jammer B, of course, makes this show happen. Uh, I, I don't think for anybody who's new listening, because I always think that everybody who's listened to the show has listened to it since, you know, BB Live show and has never missed an episode because me and Brian haven't missed an episode because if we missed one, then there wouldn't be a show. So uh, just so you know, Jammer B is one of the people that makes this show not only possible every single time, but is somebody inside Twitch for whom, if he did not exist, we would long ago be excised like the cancer we are on this network. <laughs> we'd be cut out like a dirty mole, and then we'd have to form our own show called Dirty Moles, where we'd feature Dirty Moles. And we then did. we would get... Ah, be... look at me. You're welcome to Dirty Moles. It's me, mole number two. <laughs> and then Dirty Moles coming out of holes featuring number two. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, welcome. I'm mole number two. I'm Dirty Moles coming out of home. Okay. <clears throat> um, what? Well, uh, it's good to know you guys have a backup plan. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the point is, vote for this picture. But most importantly, let's let's make some people happy about making dresses. Okay. For- uh, where can people get to the picture, John? Are you on mic? He's. We're not able to hear him. You'll have to repeat. Okay. It. Yeah. Can you mic him? Why are you yelling at me when you have a mic right in front of you? I don't know how the audio is oh, okay. uh, going. But, you, but can you hear John? Billy. Hold on. Whoa. All you have to do, get this. Do you, uh, back to Squarespace. Do you realize the Squarespace? Somebody just registered vote for the number four, jammerb.squarespace.com. It's, oh, and there it that's is. That's all we need. Vote you number know, that's four, the best, jammerb.com. That's the best endorsement of Squarespace. Look how easy and simple and fast you can set up a website. Uh, less talking, more O-face. Okay, there you go. <laughs> All right. That's one hell of an O face, Dave. I'll tell you what. <laughs> you sound like you're about to start speaking children's nursery rhymes as your kid. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so anyway, take care take care of that uh of, of Jammer B. Already up to seventy four votes and counting. But meanwhile, let's uh what do we got? Writing an Amish. Okay, buggy. wait, hold on. People are saying this jaunted article about uh Riding buggies, but no, do me a favor, Brian. Check the comments and see if there's any <laughs> Look at that kind of horse's ass. As <laughs> that is dat ass. <laughs> I want to do the buggy one. This is a whole article about riding in a buggy, <laughs> and it's just got a picture of a horse's butt. You got a nice ass. We throw the frisbee with you. <laughs> the comment should be dead ass. <laughs> Doesn't well, work. we need to make sure that it's not getting it caught up in spam, though. That's true, but it's wait, hold in, on, wait, wait, wait. There already is a comment. It's Where's it's comment? it's in intercourse. <laughs> it's from the article is from February, so it's super old. It's about riding in a buggy in intercourse, Pennsylvania. Come on, Justin, this is perfect. Okay, if I mean you have to you have to register. Which should be fine as long as it goes through again. Listen, like here's the deal. You Why don't folks... we do both? Let's split the difference. Let's 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 Some, no, someone just needs to leave a comment so we know it, there's no moderation. That's what? all that needs to happen. Someone just needs to get to us. This is not asking to move the world. We just need a article for which already when we go to it has maybe a little DC, maybe a little diamond club. Let, let, let's go ahead and throw some brackets up there and see if we can get just a, a sign that we're not gonna get caught up in a in a filter. Because sometimes people don't understand kindness, Bri. People no. look at a, a bunch of people running at them and they think, oh my God, barbarians, our village is going to get sacked, our women raped, and our goods Did, looted. Didn't you ever... And really all we want to do is kiss them on the cheek. Yeah, didn't you, ever, didn't you ever read Stranger in a Strange Land where David Rowan comes down from Venus and then they just stone him to death at the end because they don't understand his magic powers? <laughs> okay. Uh... Yes, I do remember that. I also remember the face he made when that happened. Padre <laughs> SJ. God, I love Padre SJ. He says he totally grocks that. He's so there for us. Man, it changes things knowing that we have Padre SJ watching the show. Who, by the way, we have to have on the show. We totally have to have a show. Absolutely. Wait a minute. Aaron Paul from Breaking Bad is taking calls? Uh, that's just going to be awkward if we call him. Wait, who? Uh, Aaron Paul's the guy who plays... Um, uh, uh, Pinkman on uh, Oh Jesse, Jesse Pinkman? Pinkman Yeah he's taking calls right now Yeah You wanna try calling him It'll just be weird though Can I just call okay. like an actual all right. number Hey by the way Alright we have official word Here we go folks Suffolk Times Someone give me a bit.ly link 
Locals make dresses from pillowcases for needy girls around the world. All the comments are going through. Compliment bomb is on, baby. But do, it's on like Donkey Kong. Can they also do this one? Well, we, I mean, are we gonna are we gonna split focus here, bro? No, I guess not. But this one does have a horse's butt. I, we'll refresh it and see if comments are on there. Maybe we'll we'll do that one. Yeah, yeah. No, there's no there's, con, one, there's no comments. There's not comment. even a place for comments. Yeah, yeah, there isn't. Oh wait, no, there's one. But you have to register. Love the sign yeah, of the button. That's not us. That's not us. The other us. one has has All right. diamond club. So now, probably we need to think of. Nope, you're right. Like, the last time it was like just make sure you mention, say whatever you want that's really nice about the article. Talk about things that are in the article, but there needs to be the one thing. And the last give, time give it us, was, give us a little bit. I of, bought Blackwater. You know what? Here, I'm gonna say cut them loose. Any inside joke from NSFW, but you got to be subtle and clever. No, no, no. Well, all right, here. You, you, you want me to read the article? It's not a long article. We can sure. dramatically read the article. Go for it. Oh, does it dramatically read the yeah, article? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, please. Uh, all right, so if here. Let me let me bust this up. Whoa, I definitely clicked on a banner ad. That was, <laughs> that was an odd moment. I had an amateur hour mistake just then. I am looking for the article, and I have not found it. Ex- all right, here. I can, I, can, I can start reading it here, uh, Brian, while you pull it up. Okay. Mar- Marguerite Schodenbar of Southhold joined a handful of East End women at Jenny's Main Street Grill on Monday afternoon and assembled dresses made from pillowcases to distribute to needy children around the world. Uh, give me a give me a voice to read all of her dialogue. Uh, all the dialogue will be read like a uh, uh, Amelia Earhart who's just been recovered, uh, still living in 2012. <laughs> okay. Wow. Okay. All right. Can, can, you, can, you, can you read this? I'm going to hand it over to David. I'm going to need it. I can't see it. I, I to... All right. Here we go. Right here. Give us, give us a reading. Um, <clears throat> the most important thing <laughs> is the sewing of these dresses. Is that the study? Mrs. Schoenberg said. And this is why I try to go back and get back stitch just to make sure it's, it's held together. <laughs> because some of the children are going to wear these dresses. Five or six years. I love the fact that Amelia Earhart is, is British, ex- <laughs> is exhausted and British. <laughs> like she just had a marathon sex encounter. You would be too if you had just <laughs> yeah. been recovered. That's but. true. All right. The Go. hands-on event is an outreach of Mission to Heal, organized by Dr. Glenn Gielhold, who's been treating people without access to medical care, medical care for more than forty years. In January 2013, he and his team will deliver the dresses and medical equipment to places such as Nigeria, the Philippines, India, and Ecuador. Mrs. Schoenberg said some South Old residents could be part of a leg of the journey. Uh, this is not some going to some general pool, you know, sitting on some airport <laughs> tarmac. <laughs> she said. And the people that are going on the trip are going to see one little girl and say, here's, here's a dress. A dress. The dresses volunteers made at a party have shoelace straps tied to the shoulder to allow for adjustments on the, as the wearer's gout, as the wearer grows. Mrs. Schoenbear asked that all dressmakers to create a pocket for a whistle as part of the Whistles for Peace program, which originated at the First Presbyterian Church. Wait, there's something Sponsoring called a, Whistles spot, for Peace? Whistles for Peace. Okay. Because we all know <laughs> the sound of peace as the sound of whistles. Let's go, woo! <laughs> That's true. Sponsoring a whistle costs $5, which Mrs. Schodenberg said represents a donation for medical care for a child, their family, or village, a toy, or other needed items. Mrs. Schodenberg has three more pillowcase parties planned for the summer. The next will be held June 11th between 4, p- 4 and p.m. Oop, typo, copy desk at the White Weathered Barn on the Front Street in Greenport after a second on June 13th in Hampton Bays. Fitness Advantage in South Hold will hold a July 6th pillowcase party between 6 and 9 p.m. I need did you medical just get, attention. Did, did you just get passive aggressive from your journalism background and start slanging? Listen, I'm not going to say, I'm not going to put the copy desk of the Suffolk Times on blast, but that's a catchable error. I'm if, I'm say, your, if I'm in your if I'm in your, your your daily meeting next time, I got a big fat felt pen and I'm going <laughs> right there. All right, fair enough. Dresses cannot be donated, but the group will gladly accept donations of pillowcases. 
a double bias tape, shoelaces, particularly brightly colored ones, and cash to sponsor Whistles for Peace. Head to www.missiontoheal.org for more information and read more about the program in Thursday's issue of The Suffolk Times. <laughs> All right. <laughs> did, you, did you just whisper, I'm dying? <laughs> I, I shouldn't have played. I shouldn't have crashed my plane. <laughs> my vanishing plane. So, Brian, what, what do you, I think no, probably the best, no, the funniest no. line we can think of is in the idea of somebody stepping off a tarmac and saying, here's a dress. Okay, like, see, here's the thing. I know we previously mentioned that we should mention about Blackwater specifically, but I feel like Chat Realm has grown. They've, they've developed fangs and teeth and teeth hairs that have fangs on them. And I feel like... <laughs> but I feel do, you like think, do, you think, do you think giving them a thing will decrease their creativity or they will be more creative in working it in? I, I think... And that's that, what the Blackwater thing... The Blackwater thing now lives beyond because we gave them a little thing to work with. Well, unfortunately, what we said was mention that you bought an album, I don't know, Blackwater. And then that's all they did was they all wrote that they that they bought Blackwater and they still say it to this very day. So I'm, I'm hesitant to give them a specific direction since that's probably what oh, they'll okay. do. Okay, then I'm just saying personally, I think it'd be really funny if people mentioned here's a dress. Okay, that's good. That's good. Uh, I, I think you should mention passive-aggressive uh, talking about the copy. <laughs> no, no, because they won't get that. All they right. want something that they will know to read. Like, they're not going to know who we are. They're just going to wake up tomorrow with a bouquet of flowers. <clears throat> and here's the dress. Fair enough. <laughs> here's the dress. There it is. Okay, well, yeah, we already have a whole bunch of these coming in right now. Let me go ahead and see if we can. <laughs> uh oh. What is that? I just like, Splendor78, this is so great. I just read this story to my cat, and she cannot stop purring. <laughs> She's such a Virgo. Yes, see, that is perfect. So awesome. You ladies rock. You should have a clay class, too. <laughs> this is a wonderful idea. Helping out in ways like this is both a meaningful, helpful, and creative act. I have a lawyer friend who knits socks for charity. It might seem like something small, but he's a great man, even if people act like he isn't there. Okay, first of all, do you have any doubt that I was right uh, to set to give them free reign on this? This is exactly right. I'm just right. saying, let's wait until they hear his address comments start coming All right, in. this has touched my heart so much. My grandfather, who recently passed away, known as old John Smokey, would have loved this. God bless you all. That's a great one. Will there be laser discs at this party? <laughs> Hey, mistress. I love, I love laser discs. Hey, mistress. I was so happy to read this article. These women are truly an inspiration. What a wonderful story. Man, I have a friend, this... Tom Jungle Socks, really like this. What you're doing here is the, the awesome. You deserve to be applauded for all your hard work and often unrecognized work. Be awesome. Wow. It's so good you're doing this, but Cuba might not allow you to enter their country. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful charity. You are incredible problem solvers with a Z. A and with one word. Yes. I love these ladies. They should also put their pizza making skills to the test for the local needy. This is a fantastic idea. I mean, it's cheap, affordable, and eco-friendly. So great. If it's okay, I think I might start helping my community with this. I do love sewing while listening to the Doobie Brothers and eating pizza bagels. <laughs> uh, let's see. Wow, what an awesome article. Glad to see ladies use their tails for good. My grandmother, Ira Stockman, would love to As join As opposed to evil? <laughs> yes. I hate it when the ladies use their talents for evil. I hope... Oh, wait, look at this. This is great. I hope that some of these donations can make it to the needy families in rural Bone Earth, but they put, like, uh, an E with an accent. So oh, be... like, like Bone Earth? Bone Earth. Yeah, exactly. They deserve diamonds. Wow. This is amazing. So there we go. All right? You want to know what? This is... Brian, can you imagine... Uh, who, who wrote this article? Because we're going to need to contact her. Gianna Volpe. She's no, a, you're right. A good writer. This person is going to be very excited. Uh, you, this is the right article. Lovely. It makes me wonder why I'm doing with my pillowcases. Oh, there's a lot of repos here. It's so good that you're doing that. But Cuba might a lot not allow it. <laughs> Love to hear about people doing good works. Unfortunately, my sewing skills are so terrible. I just have to stand in a corner and say, "Pretend I'm not here." <laughs> By the way, hold on. Wait. Uh, can somebody please send a link uh, while these come in, and we'll read more of them in a second. Uh, can I at least uh, send the link from my Twitter 
uh, that I put up of where I put uh, Bonnie's Ira Sockman. Oh painting. yeah, yeah, yeah. The the pretend I'm not here. The portrait. No, no. Are those still on sale, or is that done? Is is that over? I, there might be like two or three left. I mean, she she was doing it to raise money for the the. Uh, walk for the cure benefit and i think that's already come and gone um you can hit her up on twitter at invisible wife and ask about it i think she's doing them for 30 bucks but i don't i don't know if there are any left she should do them at this point i think for the charity if she wanted to sell them at 30 bucks to raise the money for the charity yeah look i don't think the charity is going to turn away any extra money for yeah for sure well i'm just saying like uh, because i know i mean i don't know how hard they are to paint but they're amazing i love it it's basically a picture of iris sockman and it says pretend i'm not here and uh, I think somebody, I think Cheeto actually has the link there in the. Uh, in, All right, in no, the here, see, this is this is Bonnie did not want me to blow this up, but I guess we're blowing it up. Uh, but like, yeah, pretend I'm not here, right there. And in fact, the material that she uses uh, on on the sock, it, it feel it looks like sock material, doesn't it? It, it do, I, I haven't felt it because it's a work of art. I don't want to touch it. No, but I mean, it looks fingers. like it though. It's like it's like this it, kind no, of. No, it looks fantastic. Cotton. It looks great. Is that in the bathroom right outside here? Yeah, no, that's it. Does look like the bathroom right outside? Really does, yeah. yeah, no, but that's that's his bathroom on the other side of the continent, the incontinent. Uh, and I got yelled at by Sarah Lane for having my uh, toilet seat up. Yeah, I saw that as well. That was pretty good. <laughs> but yeah, well, you want to know what? Get off my face, Sarah! Like I don't live with a lady. I, I that's where I pee. What am I gonna do? Pick it up every time? Like a Mister Hand picker upper? I got. I got. I got to confess. I never pick up the toilet seat. I don't either. Like, if it's down, I just aim for the center part that's open. So you're like marksman. You're like the Hawkeye of Europe. Yeah. Like, I, d- I don't go, like, I'm just going to reach down and, like, pick this up. Because then I know I'm going to have to put it back down. So I go, here's the, here's the deal. I'm going to do my best to aim properly. And if something goes wrong, I'm just going to have to clean it up. You know what I'm saying? Holy yeah, no, I hear you. That makes man. sense. I always just leave it up. I mean, like, I want to give myself a wide berth. Yeah. I'm not, I, I don't have the faith in my accuracy. Uh, so I just, uh, like, and also, so well, there's, like, a, like, there's a, a key silly. to moving like, your hips. You got to move your hips forward toward the end. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I gotta, like, yeah, get a little bit of lip, boot of lip, boot of lip. That's all there is to it. I got one Can more. Can I say real quick uh, before we get into uh, more, more comments? I, I think this is the rest. I mean, I'll have to refresh it, but Jekdal says uh, Daphne absolutely loves her dress. Thank you so much. Which, by the way, let me just, for, for Daphne fans, yeah. uh, I will just say this. Uh, the fact that me and Veronica now live fairly close to each other significantly increases the chances of more Daphne. I don't know where Daphne would go. I don't know where Daphne would live. But now that I can try and convince her person to person to do more Daphne, uh, I I will. That's a priority for me because I love writing Daphne and I think Daphne is amazing. Um, let me just say this. So me and Brett, we're joking. We all saw Avengers, right? David, did you see Avengers? I just saw it yesterday. Okay. So, Jeremy Renner, uh, <laughs> as, as like, Hawkeye. I like the extra, extra kick you did there. That was good. <laughs> you know, um, like, whenever he flips his bow out. Yeah. He kind of has, <laughs> like, that, like, like, he has, like, he's, like, cheating out to the camera. Like, he's just, like, like, yeah, Loki, I'll take care of it. Ba-boom! Hawkeye! Like, he's, like... He, like, poses for a second. Yeah. I want somebody to just get every time he does that in the Avengers. When I think it's, like, two or three times, and just put it in a loop. Because I think if you watch it over and over, it will look as ridiculous as set, I think it is. Set, set up one of those. Movie three times. Set up one of those 10-hour loops on, on YouTube of just nonstop. 10-hour loop of just the Hawkeye! Yeah. Woo! Hawkeye shooting bows! <laughs> what do you need? What do you know? Hawkeye shooting bows. That's what I'm talking about. My bow. Wait, he doesn't say all that, though. You just have to be... No, no, no. That's what that's what the biceps say. That's what the guns are talking about. That's the, mouth. that's the guns. That's, that's a really uh, it's a good point. All right, here. We got, we got some more here. I'm going to try to sort. I don't know how to sort by order. Uh, let's see. Will there be laser dead? Blah, blah, blah. Oh, you should come on my show. You should come on my radio show on 105.9 The Cat. My friend Jury would love this. I'll text it to him right now. They should put their – see, yeah, I'm seeing the same stuff eight minutes ago, eight minutes ago. He missed his. Well, I think what's happening – what happens with Discuss is it tries to push newer comments up top. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh, yeah. Uh, by the way, apparently we have 71 comments. Yeah, <laughs> so, 72. 
There's newest. I got one of your dresses for my friend Iris Sockman. I've always imagined what it'd be like to say, take my used clothes and sew it into something useful, but I'm awful at sewing. So I also, I don't have people skills. So I would probably just say, here's a dress and throw it a little <laughs> too brusquely at someone's face. Thankfully, these lovely ladies are around to look after some of the less fortunate members of society. They're doing the work of angels. Demon five, incredible. Five years ago, I was addicted to cat crap, <laughs> and I stopped because my grandfather died from it. My grandmother was very upset and buried her grief in making clothing out of pillowcases. People like this belong everywhere, but Cuba, not just South Hold. What a wonderful article. I just hope someday my friend Jimmy Cox will convince me <laughs> to say here's a dress, just like these amazing ladies do too. I should see about helping you with the cause by doing this next Tuesday. <laughs> I saw all right. All right, guys, come on. Like, that's not hard. Fabric <laughs> <laughs> <for> the dolphin. <laughs> oh, this is a good one. Thank you, ladies, for helping out needy children. Sister, sister, sewing dresses is such a wonderful <laughs> personal gesture. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Even Daphne and Jessica could agree that this is an awesome idea. This is a great idea, not only to donate, but for me as well. All those old dolphin patterns and pillowcases that I couldn't throw away, I have a use again. Thanks for the article. Uh, Padre not too long ago, I watched a friend of mine, Crepe Santa. <laughs> Crepe Santa. Go Crepe Santa. <laughs> Give up hope after years of feeling as if there was no hope for the human race. Sometimes in a world built with hot problems, we forget how simple kindness can make a difference. Thank you for reminding us that every story needs to be skeet <laughs> Did you see who wrote that one? Padre SJ. <laughs> Padre, I should tell uh, David. Padre SJ is, uh, uh, is 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 a is a is a, a priest. He's a, he's a priest who watches the show. Really? Yes, it's freaking the best thing ever. He's clearly he won he won the internet. Padre SJ just won the entire internet. Yep. <laughs> Listen, every time that somebody makes a comment. You are making the author of this article, writer for the Suffolk Times, Gianna Volpe, that much happier. Because right, uh, here's, I'll guarantee you, and, and we had this on authority from the, the last person. Uh, yeah, the, 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 the guy who, who, who we, we experienced it. The guy was just yeah. like, was like, what is it? We had a meeting. I baked yes. a cake in the shape of the moon blowing up. They had a meeting. The next day, they said, we have no idea what's going on. We need to call a meeting to see, number one, is this spam? Are yeah. we being hacked? Yeah. Number two, if this is real and the Doobie Brothers drew this much traffic, <laughs> do we need to do more Doobie Brothers coverage? <laughs> right, yeah. So this is, this is like, look for like, uh, like uh, they're like testing around and they're like, um, uh, you know, lady sculpts old plastic bags into a wreath for children. And they're like, come on, huh? It's pretty close. That? No, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, tomorrow or the next day, we'll contact Gianna because that's the one thing about reporters that they're very easy to get in touch with. Yep. And yep. we'll just let her know. Hey, by the way, this is Justin from NSFW Show. We just wanted to let you know this is the thing we do every once in a while. We just want to spread joy. You left a little bouquet of roses, internet roses. By the way, sorry for that one guy who obviously spelled out C U N T. Uh, no, don't. We're not going to point that at all. You won't miss. You won't miss that at all. Uh, I love this idea, but where are all the pillows going to wear now? Do we need to start a new effort to clothe the, clothe the needy pillows? I have a small mute daughter named Shannon who needs to have a pillowcase on her pillow at all times. <laughs> if I were to take that pillowcase away, whoa, mute Shannon, that would not be good. <laughs> I love the idea, though. Maybe use socks instead. Most people pretend socks aren't around anyway. <laughs> Whoa, mute Shannon. Whoa, mute Shannon. Oh, my daughter loves her dress. Also, she's a sock. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. There's some foul names on that one. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, no, I always I... imagine what it'd be like to take some of my used clothes and sew it into something useful, but I'm awful at sewing. Wait. Also, I don't have people skills, so I'd probably just say, here's a dress. I oh, just, no, yeah, I just, I just read that one, and I'm glad you figured it out, uh, dude. I think, I think we, uh, I think we made some joy. I think we, we, 
made a joy sandwich and we went to serve it and instead we smeared it on their faces and they were gonna be mad but they tasted a little bit of the joy my friend brody loves this kind of thing he's always on a quest to help people out yes. i think i should tell him about this <laughs> Uh, here we go. These dresses would be perfect for my power hour party at the Diamond Club. Tell you what, if they offer up three revisions, I'll call up the debit daddy and order a dozen. Ah, I see what you did there. <laughs> here we go. That actually, for brevity and concentration, that's got to be the winner, right? Uh, I think the shoelace straps are a great idea. Otherwise, they wouldn't be able to fit them in the future. I think you could get a big celebrity celebrity endorsement like Adrian Brody to hand out dresses. Though with all the publicity, he might have to tell people to pretend he isn't there. Hopefully, there won't be any dressless girls saying, Thomas, where's my dress, please? <laughs> Bobby Boo says, my friend Justin Saju got a dress for his mannequin <laughs> wife and loves it so much. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what this is so lovely for these fine ladies. I work for Time Warner, and my whole office wants to take each of these ladies out on a picnic. <laughs> All right, we got we got to shut it down, man. We're, we we we've done our good deed. We'll find out how it went ne yeah. next well, week. Well, we got to get up to a hundred, right? What was the last one oh, up to? Oh, geez, let me refresh. I mean, look, it's gonna happen. In fact, by the time we wrap up, we'll be done. Like eighty, we're up to eighty nine. Come on, man. Bro. Okay. Oh, Bro. no, 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 no. We can wrap up the show, but I'm saying I'm encouraging everybody and even people listening to this on audio, just see what's happened and, and keep uh, keep keep complimenting. Okay, just, oh, here's the dress. <laughs> uh, there it is. I just drew a dress. <laughs> oh, so sweet. All right, look, hey, Justin, where, uh, what do you got going on? Your whole life's turned upside down now that you moved to the West Coast. What's What's the latest with you? When did that happen? Like this week. He what? hopped on, he, he, uh, Hand cranked his Model T and kachugged on out. From to the Are you gonna, did you drive or fly out uh, to the West Coast, Justin? Uh, I are you laughing because you asked me this? <laughs> like you asked me this like seventeen thousand times. Yeah, and I keep telling you the same answer. that quality? <laughs> uh, okay, yeah. So I did the show. Here's actually what happened. Here's a funny thing. Okay, good. I did the show, and then did a long after show. After where we did like an hour, hour and a half after show. And then I stayed on Skype with Brian, like just talking for another hour after oh, that. Oh, did. Yeah, That's yeah. right. Like it was about two in the morning when I stopped talking on the internet. Right. Also, I drank an entire bottle of rum. No problem. And a uh, one and a half <laughs> liter okay. of Afrikola. Yeah, as you should. Which is fully reasonable. Yes. So... In that intervening time, from 2 o'clock in the morning, I completely cleared everything out of my room. I disassembled my bed. I got all my clothes. You just I stayed up all night? Up. I sweeped everything up. I did not go to sleep. I actually I didn't go to sleep until about 11.30 in the morning. I slept for about an hour, then got on a plane and flew to uh, Oakland International Airport, and that's where I live now. I live in California, which nice. is a very weird thing to say. Yeah. By the way... Uh... Oakland is so much better than SFO. Uh, think, Oakland Airport is a billion oh, times airport. better. SFO can light itself oh, on fire. Oh, airport, David says. What's that? David, like, you're like, like Oakland is so much better than yeah. SFO. And David's like, oh, airport. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, it's true. I mean, yeah. Oh, no, definitely. I mean, well, I mean, like, I, I'm very happy with the place I'm living now. Like, in, in the area of Oakland that I'm in, I'm thrilled. It, it's, it's a very exciting place awesome part to live but uh yeah i think if you're going to just take the totality of oakland with the totality of san francisco yes, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. you know not, i was not so close i was in san francisco last uh september and, and i ran into joe montana what on the street sitting at like a cafe there was one table that was out front on the street at the cafe and i walked by it and I, I just say to my friends, I'm like, I'm pretty sure we just walked by Joe Montana. And I look, I kind of look behind me and I go, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's Joe Montana. And I go, I, I just, I so I break out the, you know, I break out the phone. The iPhone, yeah. yeah. And I look for recent pictures of him. And I'm like, yep, that's Joe Montana. So I walk back there. And, <laughs> and you're like, hello, I'm Beck. <laughs> right. I'm also from, you may, from You may Venus. be familiar with me. <laughs> 
right. <laughs> so, so I walk back there and I go, uh, look, excuse me, I don't want to, you know, disrupt your lunch or anything, but are you Joe Montana? And he kind of looks up at me like, yeah. Like, it was just like, yeah, I don't want to, I don't want to make a big deal out of this kind of, yeah, you know? So I was, yeah. So, so the thing is, here, here's what just came out of my mouth. I didn't, I didn't actually plan to say this, but this is what came out of my mouth is I went, my brother is a big fan of yours. <laughs> Okay, all right, all right. There are two questions that pop immediately to my mind, and they go in descending order. The first is, do you have a brother? I do, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is he, in fact, a big fan of Joe He Montana? was a huge 49ers fan growing up, so it's okay, true. Okay, so that wasn't, like, that wasn't like, like I if I just walked up to him and said, like, oh, my older brother loves you when I no, don't have an older brother. I, have a pro I can't lie. Like, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a horrible liar. Like, I can't, just can't do it. So if I went up to him and I was like, I'm a huge fan of yours, it would just obviously radiate true. as yeah. a lie. So I figured, like, what can I tell him that would be nice that's true? And right. it was my like, brother. I know a guy a who thinks you're yeah. great. You, know what? you want to know what? Like, I'm not, especially now that I'm in the Bay Area, I don't want to go off all, all half-cocked and start calling Joe Montana an ass. But, like, it's kind of an ass move by Joe Montana. Like, a dude walks up to you with, with an obvious like yeah. not from around here accent and it's like hey i recognize you and you're gonna break his balls like yeah 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 he was, well, he's just kind of like, joe montana he was like is it gonna, is this gonna be a thing that's kind of what the attitude i got and is this gonna be a thing like are you gonna ask for some photos and i was like no i didn't I, I, I so i said my brother's a big fan of yours and i was like i'll just i just like to shake your hand so he shakes my hand and i was like peace I'm out. You know, <laughs> Did you tell yeah, you said that? That's it, you know, I'm done. <laughs> and then like, just like you, need. you set fire to the to the yeah. encounter by going, "Hey, everybody, Joe Montana, Joe Montana <laughs> over here, everybody." <laughs> right? Montana, Montana, yeah. we got Montana here. Yeah, come on. <laughs> you know, the interesting thing is, his wife was with him too, and she was like, she had this like attitude, like this happens all the time. Oh, like, like she had that kind of like. I'm just going to sit here for the next, like, three minutes while somebody goes on and on about Joe Montana. Right. That time I, when, you, I didn't, when you, you know, threw the ball right, and the other exactly. guy caught so it, it was very meaningful yeah, to she me. she was expecting it to be that sort of thing. And I was just like, uh, you know, hi, I just wanted to make sure. Because uh, I'm going to tell this story later. I'm going to say I ran by Joe Montana. And that's why I'm asking you if you are indeed Joe Montana, because I want to know if this is going to be a true sure. story that I tell yeah. people later. Well, you yeah. know what? Joe Montana's a jerk. Whatever. You know. Forget Joe Montana. But anyway. Yeah. Ass hat. Call me Joe. <laughs> Ass hat. <laughs> what, what, Ass hat. Wow. Uh, all right. So we sh are we shutting this down? What else we got? I mean, we'll we'll hang around for the after show. Maybe we'll maybe we'll break down a video. Uh. But uh yeah. Okay. Uh. That's. Uh, I mean, I, I have nothing to plug other than eye tricks, weird things. Uh. I'd say buy Hollywood Pharaohs, uh, the number three highest rated mystery book on Amazon. Full stop. By your I had program. a, uh, I had a really good. Uh, by the way, I just went to go push my glasses up, and they weren't there. Uh, I had a really good conversation with Andrew talking about his thinking about uh, why he writes the books the way he is, and I think, uh, I think his take is brilliant, and I think what he's doing, if if and when it pays off, is going to be read about in books for for decades to come because it's like I mean, he's got a fantastic talent and a fantastic ability to grasp the bigger picture. I I think it's fantastic. It's, it's fantastic. It, it, Justin it is, is fantastic. It, it is fantastic. paying off. Uh, and he's, he's brilliant. And then the one thing I've realized now that I've gotten to San Francisco is how much, and I kind of wanted to say this on the weird things podcast when we were recording last night so we could hear, but like I've said it in the morning stream, I'll say it again here is I've kind of realized how much uh, I, I am. I was joking about how I don't have an older brother. I, I am just an embarrassing little brother when I'm away from Andrew, because pretty much like all I do is be like, like, Oh, well, you know, like Andrew said, well, you know, Andrew did this. And, you know, one time I was talking to Andrew, and he said it was like this, so I think it's like this. Uh, no, he wrestled a bear. I mean, <clears throat> yeah, no, he could wrestle a bear. He uh, yeah. he arm wrestled someone. His name was Bear. I mean, whatever. Exactly. Yeah. So, yeah, no, I I very much, uh, luckily, I mean, you know, I've been texting back and forth. But I, I, I forgot how much I, how much time I spent talking to Andrew about politics in can, person. Can I, can I get oh. just a little bit real before we wrap up? Yeah, do it. Uh, Let's get real. Dude, the weirdest thing is is you are a night owl, and now you're on the West Coast, and you've got engagements that happen at West Coast engagement times, and yeah. uh, like three times I've wanted to call you, but I realized that you'd almost certainly be in the middle of something, and so I called Andrew instead. <laughs> and so as a result, you... surrogate, surrogate East Coast. 
Yeah, I was just like, well, and plus, next also, man up. Exactly. So it's like I was just like, hey man, what's go? Well, oh, shh, you would. Uh, <laughs> was it that shocking? I don't know. Oh, thank you. So uh, it's 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 weird. Um, I don't know. It's just it's just a weird vector, and I, it's like I wonder. I wonder if we'll because for those who don't know, like Justin and I have this habit of me calling like late ass at night. But yeah. the problem is, like you're a late ass at night person, and you're you're two hours in the in the past. So it's like yeah, there's a three hour time change. So now it's it's just harder to call. Well, yeah, and also like. I, I basically, I've still, I, I, like, I've kept my computer on East Coast time because I still want to write the blogs for East Coast time. Like, right. I want to know where I'm writing for because that's where 50% of all your readership always is, mm-hmm. is on the East Coast. So, like, uh, I've realized that, like, now my fairly unreasonable living habits, like when I lived in Florida, now qualify me to run a farm on the West Coast because, like, I am in bed, like, out, tuckered out. By like twelve thirty, and I am up like a light at like six thirty. So you're you're, every just day. Gonna, you're just gonna stay totally nocturnal. You're going vampire. Whoa. No, I'm actually I'm responsible now. Oh wait, wait. Like, you're saying going to bed at twelve thirty at night. At night, and I'm up at six thirty at night because it used to be going to bed at like three thirty four o'clock on wow. the East Coast, and waking up at like ten thirty eleven on the East Coast, and now. I just roll all that back, and I'm like a really responsible human being. <laughs> That's awesome, man. All right, well, hey, let's uh, let's kick it over to uh, David. David, what uh, do you have anything to promote? What can you what got a you... great blog, David? No. Are, do you yeah. write on? Oh that my blog gosh, still? it's all right. Yeah, I, you know, I've been meaning to. I've been kind of moving around and and had some things going on recently, but uh, there's uh, there's another post coming out soon. It's uh, it's on camera tricks. Can I talk about camera tricks? Yeah, please do. It's David Rowan. That's D A V I D R O W Y N dot posterous posterous. Is it posterous or posterous? You know, here's the thing: is uh, the creators of uh, posterous of call, this of this call website it, <laughs> call it posterous. And okay, I, I disagree with them. <laughs> okay, it's preposterous, is what it is. Before no, they, it was. they call it posterous, and I say it's posterous. Oh, really? Okay. I, Yes. Uh, I think you just said the reverse of it. But yes. uh, here's the thing is your essays on magic, for anyone who digs magic or even digs the thinking behind magic, are far and away the best things I've read. I mean, it's like it's it's you get it in a way that no one else does. And I've sent it. Uh, I don't know if I told you, but I sent it over to. Um, They're too long, uh, though. To, like nobody reads No, them. no. Like, that's just it is you give the middle hey, finger. You should cross post them on iTrix. Let just yeah, give right me on. the articles. We'll cross post them. We'll, we'll send people to you, and and people will know more about your site. But every once in a while, when you have a good one, send them over to me. We'll run on iTricks and get a bunch of readers. It'll be great. All right, let's do it. Yeah, absolutely. No, I'm telling you, it's it's amazing, and uh, and you get it, and it's awesome. And there's that uh, David Rowan dot uh, And uh, oh, and if I may take just a moment to tell the fine people. Uh, listen, there's only Is something one. showing up. Wait, Brian, hold on. I won't let you plug anything unless it's coming out within the next two weeks. Well, you're in luck because two weeks <laughs> from tonight, <laughs> the Scam School Book 2 is coming out. And Scam School Book 2, remember how Perfect. great Scam School Book 1 was? And everyone was like, oh, this book is so revolutionary. You get to learn and it's fun and it's funny. And there's videos and audio. Take a dump on that and break your iPad in half and set fire to it and urinate the fire out because that's how bad it sucks compares to book two. How book many, two is better. How many scams did you have in Scam School 1? <laughs> like, I don't know, like 75. So what's some you, dumb number? So you charged at least 75 bucks for it, right? No, like a I only charged, like, like an asshat, I only charged 9.99. Was this? Yeah, was no, wait, hold on, but like, you're, so you're going to charge like uh, 9.98 for this one because it's one better? No, no, wait, that would be the <laughs> That'd be an one penny bucks. better at least. Yeah, no, but uh, it's, it's, we're going to. One penny less, but it's one penny less because you leave the last S off for credit. No. Never mind. <laughs> but the important thing is uh, book two is going to be completely rad, and I'm dead serious. Uh, we hit number three nationwide with, with the first book, and I believe— No, no, no. You always, you always say this like it's a bad thing. Like, it's like, well, oh, we only hit number, number three. three. Yeah. Well, the biggest buzzsaw in the last 20 years of publishing was completely shredding the industry for a night— we beat one rung of the unbeatable buzzsaw. Like, 
You're like, like, oh my god, it sucks so bad. No, right? I, 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 okay, first of all, that that's... was amazing then. And I'll tell you what, I know what is in. I've read Scam School Book Two. Yeah. And it is amazing. If you read Scam School Book One and you loved it, it will be better than what you. And I will say this: I have looked up tricks from Scam School One and performed them, and then looked up tricks from Scam School Two and performed them. And Scam School Two. By far, the videos, the descriptions, <laughs> far and away, it is a a, a a step up. And not to say this game, book one was bad. This right. one's just better. This is Empire Strikes Back compared to Star Wars. It's going to be amazing. Brian, how much are you selling this thing for? Nine ninety nine, bro. But on release day, we're going to drop book one down to $0.99. Cents. So what? that means, yes, that means for uh, less than 11 bucks. You could get it's. Uh, I think book two is like uh, 450 megabytes, and book one is 300 something megabytes. So it's like you you get a big old fat half gigabyte of 150, 160, 170 tricks, and over 100 videos, two and a half hours audio commentary. It's going to be amazing. What it's going to be okay. Listen, event, Brian, nine hundred dollars and nine or nine nine nine, yeah. like you said, nine hundred nine 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 plan pennies. for Brian it's, Brushwood. It's the Herman uh, Cain. Nine hundred ninety nine dollars. That seems fair for this book. So I think it's a fair price. $999. Yeah. Absolutely. No, 999 pennies. No, 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 no. Pennies. Okay. Pennies. So wait, well, hold on, wait. You're saying at a steep discount, it's only going to cost you $99.90. No, I'm, I'm saying it's, Is that it's, what it's, you're it's, saying? No, it's $9. It's nine. It's almost $10. It's less than what you waste Shut on two your beers. filthy mouth. I should put a shoe where your words come out because you're saying silly things like you're going to sell this book, the best magic book that's ever been created for only $9.99. The nine 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 plan. But listen, Brian, maybe I'll tell you what. I think someone in the chat room should bring up Black Herman Cain. So uh, they can... definitely already did. Wait, They're saying Black, Black Herman Cain. Oh, yeah, no, Black Herman Cain. I don't have it's a picture of him. I got to find him. I'm sure maybe, I don't know, maybe if we all hope real hard, a, a picture of Black Herman Cain will show up in the chat room and he'll speak to all of us. <laughs> if only. But first, let's give him one minute while we, did, while we find out how we did in the movie draft. Here we go. Welcome to your movie draft minute for the week of June 4th, 2012. I'm your host, Roberto Villegas. A week has passed and another film has been released. Let's check out the leaderboard. Sarah Lane's in sixth place, still waiting for her first film. Veronica Belmont's in fifth place with $41.1 million. Justin Robert Young's in fourth place with $83.2 million. Brian Brush is in third place with $302.3 million. Scott Johnson's in second place with Snow White and the Huntsman bringing in $56 million, bringing his total to $497.3 million. And in first place with the Avengers bringing in $20.4 million this week, bringing his total to $568.7 million. It's Tom Merritt. And week 11 has come to an end, and that is your movie draft minute for the week of June 4th, 2012. Dude. Freaking Tom Merritt's going to own the universe. He won everything. You don't think that Sarah's got a shot? Nope. Yo, come on, like, you don't think Dark Knight's got, like, some Dark Knight? You don't think that there ain't be going to be old, I think some the magic Dark in Knight... that old black cow they found? Nope. For I... when they placed it on her head, she began to dance around with she'll, joy. Oh, she'll dance around, but, I mean, she ain't nothing but a fat bag of desiccated dead flesh hanging beneath his balls. That was the original uh, lyrics That's... to Hound Dog. You ain't nothing but a desiccated dead flesh hanging from his balls. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Brian, uh, I believe uh, Mario has a visitor for you. Uh, well, let's just see. Who could it be? <laughs> <laughs> hey, everybody, it's me, Black Herman Cain. I believe that you should go buy the new Scam School 2 book. It's only nine nine nine. That's my slogan, after all. By the way, yes. We should point out this is just regular Herman Cain. This Black Herman Cain is a totally different person. Black Herman Cain has my my hair. Yeah, well, you can't see his hair in that picture, Brian. Okay, uh, fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, so so there we go. If somebody could bring us the picture, the actual picture, I'm like, seriously, this is the first time I've ever like asked, and like I asked Chat Realm for ridiculous things. Yeah, I asked Chat Realm for unreasonable things, and they just come to to fruition. But I am shocked. That someone doesn't just have that file by the ready, ready for, for, for Black Herman Cain. 
All right, look. Let's, oh my uh, God! Wait. What? Apparently, what's it called? Is there Gianni Volpe's Twitter? Is she responding? Well, to I, this influx. I don't know. No, I, no. See, th- this is why I, they've been they've been trying to get me to. to I don't want to hammer her Twitter. I don't want to bother her over Twitter. They are just hammering us, being like, "Here it is." Oh, okay. Like but she now, hasn't but now said, you, like, but now you blew it up. What's up with all these comments? No. No. <laughs> no. Uh, no, I'll tell you, I'm very, are you happy about, I always, I I didn't realize how good I felt about the compliment bomb until somebody else looked at the compliment bomb, like, way removed, and was like, that's a cool thing. And I felt so good about it this week. Yep, I agree. So much so that I wanted to do it again. I agree. Because I'm an immediate gratification a-hole. That's, uh, yes, well, I'll tell you what, why don't we have people send us on Twitter, if you're listening, send us your favorite classic NSFW shenanigan that you'd like us to Give a new take on at Schwood, at Justin R. Young, it's time to go, at David so Rowan, all one word. Well, I have two. I have David, all, David Rowan, all one word, and David underscore Rowan. Which one do you read? Both of them. Okay. All right. Dave. I have an identity crisis. I'm sorry. Email me or I'll email you, but I definitely I think you should post stuff on iTricks because your stuff is too good to not be read by you. Yeah, dude. No, your essays are phenomenal. Because basically nobody reads it. Get out of town. That's good, yeah. I know that. I can help with that. Awesome. Die in a fire party, people. See you next Tuesday. Oh, I'd rather be dipped in honey Darn it. fed to a big <laughs> Than to do without Justin Robert Young for even a little while. Oh, NSFW, I love you. You think? Get Set Go would come up to San Francisco and play live. I don't see. Wait, where are they? Where are they from? L.A. No, they will not. You don't think so? No. They also told me. I wonder if people would talk to to them on Twitter. That'd be kind of interesting. Is San Francisco more expensive than Manhattan? Mm, Slightly less. Yeah. But they're a hell of a lot nicer. Hell of a lot nicer. Plus... There's a hundred percent more naked yeah. people in San Francisco. Really? You yeah. go from zero to three. What do we got? Boom. Uh, what do you got? What Chinese food? It's orange chicken and sesame chicken and rice. Holy crap! So, what dude, when you do shows at Twit, Chad just brings you beer and Chinese food. This is amazing. Hmm. So, well, whatever you don't that's, get. That's right. weird because you're saying the words when you do. Shows at Twitch, Chad brings you Chinese food, and it sounds like you're saying those words to me, which would lead me to believe that you're telling me this is what happens to me at Twitch, but simultaneously you're describing something that doesn't happen to me when I do shows at Twitch. So I'm very confused about the words that are coming out of your mouth. Uh, what kind of Chinese Sorry, food, yeah. Brian, you're breaking up. The internet connection is getting kind of crazy. You got some chicken fried rice there? Uh, no, there's just a bunch of chicken. Holy crap. All right, I put in way too much of that. Sorry, there's just a lot of Chinese food that's going on right now. Brian left. He did. Did you go to get Chinese food, Dave? He's going to go get some pizza. That's our version of Chinese food in Texas. Pizza! Yeah. Las Vegas! That, that's a, you know, like, was it a sudden thing? Was it like a, you knew that there was okay, so we something were, coming? You just didn't know no, what it was? We, we, were, we were planning on uh, moving in together. Yeah. And, and then we ended up breaking up. Who? you? Oh, you and the chick? So, so I had already given notice to my apartment complex that I'm out of there. And uh, since that's going to be out of there, Brian, what? You hear me? What? How many times did we go get you Taco Bell? Nice. Oh, John's got the bell. Oh, hey. <laughs> How many times did we get you Taco Bell? Uh, <laughs> no, I don't want that. Get out of here. You got it. Chad, I don't mean to besmirch your reputation. I'm just deeply concerned with what appears to be. (laughs) What? When everyone's like, oh, Chad, Chad. And then someone just typed in the red menace exclamation. Look, I'm just deeply concerned about what appears to be uh, some kind of bizarre pro date rape agenda that 
that they're promoting over at Domino's Pizza. <laughs> <laughs> I'm totally uncomfortable yeah. with this. Awesome. <laughs> All right, what do we call this okay. episode? Um, Compliment Bomb 2. Here's your dress. This is all yucky. All right. But we were, I'll tell you what, we weren't talking... To Dave, Dave, yeah, uh, that's, that, that, that's, yeah. a, that's a crazy story. Like all of a sudden, it's like, like you're moving in with your chick, and then next thing you know, like it's just like like a ship hits the rocks. I mean, yeah. I assume it's it's a big shock, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, I, I kind of figured like, well, since my default plan has kind of, you know, blown up in my face. Uh, what am I? Gonna all right. Do? Let me just say this, uh, Jeff in the chat room. I assume it's Jeff. G E O F. Says, Domino's really enjoy your cardboard, brah. <laughs> he didn't say brah, but uh, and the answer is it's my only option. So thanks for taking a dump on my only option, brah. Uh, yeah, I mean, come on, it's not breaking his balls. So I hold it on, on on a scale from one to ten. When 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 the breakup hits, yeah. Dave, like where where are we at? Like before it happens, where would you expect it? From a scale of one to ten, At, you know, to, if I was honest, about a six. Like okay, I, so it's like things aren't exactly perfect, right? Yeah, right. Yeah, but certainly, like you have four spaces like it, to it go. It was like a six that I was, you know, that we, I think both of us were hoping to bring down to like a three, you know, by moving in together, kind of by getting, moving right, in, right? You know, like this is just a rocky part that everybody goes through kind of thing and then we had a conversation on the phone i was out of town and i kind of realized when we had that conversation that You're this was going to lead to a bigger conversation that was probably going to be the end of the ah. relationship yeah. Yeah. so you you knew going into the conversation that like okay like you weren't just like a oh, cow yeah. walking like the, into the, the actual, slaughterhouse and getting yeah. a bolt in your brain no no like, the you actual moment on. it was like more of a formality we're both going to meet together and we're both going to say this is the best thing to do right now, you know? Yeah, yeah. And then at, at that point, because I would assume in your situation that at that point, the idea of let me just go roam the country is a romantic one, but maybe not, maybe the one that would kind of wash out with, with time like well, in, in the practicality. But what was your first thought and when did you realize that's what you really wanted to do? Well, um... A long time ago, uh, I had a similar moment. This and it, and it sort of comes full circle. I had a similar moment where just stuff was not working out, and I got a call from a friend of mine that said, um, "There's this band on tour that needs a lighting, or they need a sound guy. They need a front of the house sound director." And I had done sound for a few years in high school, so I was like, "Sure, let's do that," because that seemed like you know I have nothing else going on at the time. Let's just go on the road and, and, and be on tour. That sounds fun. Why not? Right. So I get out there. I pack all my stuff. I get out there. The day that I'm supposed to get on the tour bus, they go, you know what? Our sound guy is going to stay a little while longer. What? And I'm like, I don't know if you know this, but I don't have anywhere to live right now. Like, I, I've got my bags here, and I'm ready to go. And, and they're like, well, our lighting guy is going to be leaving soon. Do you have any experience with lighting? So I, I went, yeah, of course, of course I do. <laughs> <laughs> right. And, and having none at all. And I think they sort of sensed that I was lying because, like I said, I'm a terrible liar. And they uh, were like, well, okay, we'll give you two weeks. If at the end of two weeks you don't know what you're doing, then we'll just drop you back off and you'll fly back to Austin. <laughs> Wait, they set you up like they're like, you got the job. But yeah. if you're lying to us right now. Well, they were like, if two weeks into it, you know, you're obviously Just kind of do this right. sometime over the next two weeks. Right. Like you got something in your eye and then we'll know. And the crazy thing was, for the first 10 days of that two weeks, we were traveling. We were on the road from Plainview, Texas to Miami, Florida. <laughs> so I didn't even get a chance to even try out most of the stuff that I was supposed like, to be Like, the lights. Right, yeah. so I had like four I'm or sorry, five I'm sorry, what days. was that you just said, Justin Robert Young? He said to freak out with the lights. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He said to... <laughs> <laughs> And I'm proud to be and a milk owner. owner, where at least I know I cursed on Twits. <laughs> Ted, Chad opened the, yeah. the gates. Long story the, the short. The what gates? <laughs> what gates? Oh, okay. Long story <laughs> short, I was I mean, with What kind of gates months. would those be in your mind? 
Uh, all right, so long story short, you're on the road. You're on the way from Plain Boot, Texas to Miami, Florida. You're a fake lighting director. That's correct. And I have four days to learn. Together? I have four days to learn everything about lighting. How to take down the entire rig, what cables do what, how to use the controller, you know, basically what the cues are for every one of the songs in the band. And I ended, and, I, and it worked. I ended up staying on, on, <laughs> on the tour for several months. Well, Can you say what band it is, just in case people want to support them for supporting you? I probably shouldn't. They're no longer together. Oh, okay. oh you're about to spill. You're about to spill, oh, bro. Thank you. So anyway, this, this current thing with the breakup felt like another one of those moments. And again, I'm chewing pizza while I'm talking to you. That's fine. I'm eating Chinese. Then I cursed on Twit. <laughs> I get a call from a friend of mine that's like, he's a nurse. And he says, I'm going to start traveling. I'm going to do like a traveling nurse job. I'm going to go spend three months in different cities. I'm just going to travel around. But the thing is, I don't know anybody where I'm going. And they pay for my housing. So if you, need, if you ever need a couch to crash on or whatever, I'm going to be in this city or this other city. And I basically said, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that right now because that's I'm all my stuff. I've got to be out of my apartment. I've got to move it into storage anyway. I may as well just hit the road with a friend of mine and go you know, check out wherever he's going to be, which happened to be Dallas at the time. Yeah. And so I checked out Dallas, and then I checked out Baton Rouge, and then I checked out New Orleans, and then I checked out Kingman, Arizona. And I, and I started you know, visiting all these places, San Francisco, San Diego. and. So now are you, are you the, you're with your nurse friend? So you are spending the time that he is spending, and that's like well, three months per city or whatever? Yeah, well, so after a while, he's married and he has three kids, so he, that started to take a toll on that sort yeah. of thing. So he had to move back. But I, I, I just kept kind of moving from city to city, you know, staying with friends and, and uh, family and, and, and so on and so forth. And now, on Saturday, so right now I'm in Austin, but on Saturday I fly to New York City where I've rented two apartments in Manhattan back-to-back, so I'm going to spend the summer in Manhattan. So you are still, this is not like you are at the end of this. You are still on the David Rowan. My stuff is still in storage uh, right at the road. And, uh, and yeah, I'm still, I'm still kind of moving around trying to find a place I enjoy. And I'm, I'm thinking about the French quarter of new Orleans in the fall, but then I think I sort of, I sort of have to start to get kind of more serious about maybe a a more longer term kind of place. Well, I was going to ask you, so like, what are you looking for? Like, what brings you home, even if home is in Austin? What what settles you somewhere? Because it, it can't still be about the breakup. No, no, this, no, no, this no, no, far no. Along, no right? she, she and I are, are friendly now, and I'm happy for her. She's in a different relationship, and you know, we both moved on, and, and that's fine. Okay, all right, yeah, whatever. Yeah, there's no, Screw yeah, that's, yeah. She's terrible. Right. <laughs> so that's that's that. But uh, for me, it's just kind of um, exercising a certain purpose, you know. Like finding a place that makes sense for what you want to do. So, um, so then you were looking for a place to speak to you before you yeah. move and yeah, yeah. settle there. Yeah. I, uh, basically, and I, I've tried out a couple of places. Like I've tried on Houston for size and I just didn't, I thought it was going to feel right and it didn't feel right. And so now I'm going to go look at New York city and maybe I'll get out to San Francisco or LA. Um, Vegas is also another one. I want to be in a city. The French Don't Quarter, move to Vegas. Well, the French Quarter, New Orleans is one too. I want to be in a city, maybe Chicago, th- that has a pulse. I want to be in a city that kind of like things are happening there. You know, like it's a place hey. where you can launch a big idea. <clears throat> this is how good Kuhan is. He. This is the interview you were you were the imitating. The is pretty hot too. Oh uh, yeah. See it everywhere. Um, <laughs> getting the back vibe. Yeah, actually. <laughs> no, playing live for us later on. We're back here on 120 minutes. I'm Thurston Moore, of Sonic Youth, interviewing Beck, who's right here beside me. Beck, uh, I sort of wanted to ask you some questions about, uh, you know, where you're from and who exactly you are. And uh, I can't seem to get any straight answers out of anybody uh, who uh, seems to know you. But uh, what exactly is your real name? Is it Beck? Were you christened Beck? All right. And another question I sort of wanted to ask do, you. Do though. you think, Justin, do you think this is the, the interview that they were doing that sc- <laughs> Do you 
think that's the interview that they were riffing on on Mr. Show when they did the uh, the because uh, you remember they did that thing where where he was, he was like don't know with uh, where he was trying to. I don't know. I don't. I'm sorry. I was waiting for you to to keep going. I was trying to think. That was my thinking phase. Oh, okay. Uh, I thought it was your horrified that Brian's talking phase. No. Um, the same <laughs> phase. No. Uh, it, it's the one where 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 like uh, he would ask. He's like, "Wow, guys, your newest album is really exciting. How it must it must feel great to be on top?" And then there's just dead silence. He's like, "Don't know." And he's like, "What's it feel like to have a number one album?" And there's a pause, and Bob Odenkirk is like, "Feels creamy." <laughs> well, I mean, I think certainly it is it is like that kind of interview. Like, I mean, like the the really because like rock Phoenix. stars are are awesome. Like we all know rock stars are awesome, but they're never necessarily smart or clever. <laughs> like they're good at like writing the one thing they're good at writing up, but they're not like improv comedians. It's not like when you put like Will Ferrell on a mic. Will Ferrell will be funny because Will Ferrell's a funny guy. So it's like I think like Beck number one. It's a horrifying idea to say, let's let the lead singer of Sonic Youth interview other musicians. That's a terrible <laughs> idea. Letting a rock star interview a rock star is like watching two Furbies go back and forth and then <laughs> yeah. say, like, oh, that's great. You know, that's Charlie Rose. Hey, did you know that the whole thing about, like, Furbies, like, listening to language and then learning and, ch- and talking after you was total BS? And it was just marketing crap and all it did is it played a predetermined set of gibberish that changed over time? Did you know that? I was not aware of what the promise of Furbies was, so I, I'm having a hard time understanding what the. You see, I, didn't know, I only knew the, the 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 marketing stuff on it, but there was a there was a cracked uh, dot com article talking about how like apparently the CIA was like they needed to get to the bottom of it because somebody had a Furby at work, and they're like that's a recording device, and then they in, upon their investigation they're like oh wait it's apparently not in a, a recording device at all. <laughs> uh no. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's let's do a, a an I team investigation on Furbies. Let's crack this beach <laughs> wade open. Yes! The Damon Rowan magic card. <laughs> Legendary creature. Awesome. Have two mana to activate your Beck. Uh, sounds like Beck to girls. Yes. You come back and hot girls would think of you while they bang other guys. She is pretty attractive. And it yeah. says the quote is your mom was horizontal last night.